Hello, my name is Mark with Scare Ship with SoCal California. Here we are, we have our body ready and we have our subframe together. All of our engine transmission and everything's in this thing. That's the easiest way to install an engine and to install this subframe. It's so simple, you can't even do it. You can literally do it with little effort, pushing it with a jack on the wheels. After I show you how the subframe bushings go, I'm gonna do another video to show you exactly how to properly align this. There's some pinholes up underneath here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this subframe's in the proper place. Let me show you where these subframe bushings go and a little bit more detail of our engine and chassis. So our subframe in the Nova is pretty similar to the one that's in the 67 through 69 Camaro. However, the bushings are a little bit different on the Nova. What we have here is our bushing nearest the firewall. It's thick and it actually has a washer that goes on top of it. Our rear bushing is smaller in diameter. That's the one that goes in the back below the seats. Our front core support is similar to this one. But this one actually goes in the front on the core support. A lot of people get confused where this and all these go, which can cause alignment problems for your bumper, your fenders, even the way the car handles. So let's go ahead, we're gonna put those in, and I'll show you our next little trick. So this is as simple as it is. You really don't need a lift. It's actually easier to do this on the floor than it is to do it on the lift. What we've done is we've taken a jack, reversed it up underneath our rear cross member. We're on our wheels, and literally, we're just gonna push this back into place. Now that we have it back, we can line it side to side. Let me show you how that's done. So now that we have our subframe bushings installed and we have our bolts run up in there, we don't want to cinch them down any, you know, real tight. We still want to be able to move this subframe around. Also, we have our body off the jack stands. We're sitting on all four wheels. A drift pin, run them up in the holes so we can move this forward, back, side to side, right? The most important part of this process is the measuring tape and the assistant. You have to make sure that your assistant doesn't wear glasses. If he does, he's wearing them, and he understands how to read a measuring tape. A 15-minute job could take hours just by being a quarter, half inch off, and everything else. That's the most important thing. So we're gonna take our assistant, we're gonna measure from the hub cap forward to this hub cap. Now we're gonna measure it to the other side. We're gonna line our wheelbase equally. After we get that set, we're gonna go from our pinch welt into our subframe. We've already done it on this. We already have this thing aligned and everything. We've moved it around. We have five inches to this side. On the other side, five inches. You need to make sure the back side of the frame on the flat spot, not where it curls up or anything, is five. So if you have five and five, five and five, and you have a 112 inch wheelbase, you're golden. My name is Mark with Scared Shiftless, and I want to thank you for, wa for watching. For wa watching.